Welcome in the Windshield Rain Assets tutorial. First, let's import assets from the package. Select Common Folder, Readme Files, and folder for the pipeline you are working with. Now let's go to the Windshield Rain Asset folder. Next to the built-in URP or HDRP folder depending on your pipeline. Demo, Scenes, and let's open the demo scene. Before we play our demo scene, let's first click on the game object named Open Me First. In the inspector we can see component which checks if required packages are installed. These packages are needed only to play the demo scene, they are not required for the asset to work, so if you don't need them in your game, you don't have to install them. But we will install them for the demo scene to work. Let's click on each install button one at a time. If you are using Universal Render Pipeline, you should also see a warning to add render features. Let's click Add Render Features for the car windows to render properly. Now, when all packages are installed, we can play our demo scene. Everything works great. Sometimes when playing the scene for the first time just after installing Text Mesh Pro, the text UI doesn't appear. In that case, just restart the game. If you want to add rain to your own car, first create proper materials for it. We will need one material that uses windshield rain shader for the front windshield one that uses simple rain glass shader for the side and back glass, and one with simple rain standard shader for the car body paint. Now, when our materials are ready and assigned to our vehicle meshes, let's go to our front windshield. Make sure its mesh is separate from the rest of the car. Now create empty object next to your windshield. And add windshield train component to it. Next, make sure you have enabled gizmos and you should see the windshield plane rectangle. Rotate it and scale using width and height parameters in the windshield rain component, so it fits your windshield mesh. Now when you've adjusted it, assign your windshield mesh filter to the windshield mesh field and click recalculate mesh UVs button. Select the location where you want to save new mesh and click save. The new mesh with recalculated UVs gets automatically assigned to your mesh filter. We can see a warning and info box on the top of our component. Let's click Add Command Buffer Blur to Main Camera to make blur textures work properly. If you are using Universal Render Pipeline, you should see a warning to add render features. And if you are using High Definition Render Pipeline, you should see a warning to add custom passes. When working with the URP or HDRP, we have to replace Mesh Renderer component for every window in our car with the Windshield Mesh Renderer. It ensures our windshield meshes will be rendered after our blur texture pass. Now we can see that our rain material is starting to look better when blur textures are working. Let's also click Add Droplets Acceleration component to make our drops react to the gravity and car acceleration. Now let's adjust rest of the parameters. We can assign turbulence texture, adjust min and max drop size. Let's also not forget to assign our windshield rain material to our script. Now we have to create script for our wipers. So let's add wipers component somewhere to our car. In the rain script, we have to assign our windshield rain component. Next, let's add texture to set and assign our windshield rain material. Last, let's add two wipers objects. Each have three transforms. Origin is the pivot point of wipers rotation, start and end are beginning and end of the wiper blade. Now let's not forget to assign our wipers component to the field in the windshield train component. Before we hit play, we have to also add script to manage our materials for the car body and side windows. So let's add simple rain manager component to our car and assign our two materials to it. When we click debug, we can see that our tree planner mesh is correctly displaying all three planes. So let's hit play and test our game. Something is wrong with our side windows and also the front window doesn't have detailed rain texture. 
So let's add it. So in background normal map, let's assign rain normal texture and adjust its scale and normal strength. For our side rain, let's decrease rain tiding to about 0.1, adjust smoothness and also add background normal map. We can also tweak reflection mask threshold to make our rain drops stand out more. Let's do the same for our car paint material. Now let's also tweak rain normal on our front windshield. It looks okay, but our turbulence texture is too large, so let's change its scale. Now it looks perfect. For more info, you can read the documentation. Link to it is in the description below. I hope you will like this asset and it will help you create your dream game. Thanks for watching and happy coding!